This program is designed to introduce you to Elixir Font. Elixir Font is a sophisticated font editor for use with any of the Xerox electronic printers and some non-Xerox printers. Elixir Font works with Elixir Sys to convert and edit fonts right at your PC. We'll begin by reviewing the steps for installing Elixir Font software, describe the menu options, and finally, edit fonts. Let's review the steps for installing the software. Each software package contains your copy protection security key. To install, the cable plugs into the parallel port at the back of your PC, and the security key plugs into the cable. If you have multiple products, you stack the keys by plugging one key into another. Finally, you plug the proof printer cable into the last key. Next, you must play Epsi font system disk into floppy disk drive A and type A colon install, followed by a return. For additional instructions, refer to the more detailed description in the Elixir font user guide. If the Elixir font program is already installed, change to the Elixir directory, and then start the program with the command run fe for Elixir font. Elixir font works with Elixir sys to convert and edit fonts. Because of Elixir sys, Elixir font is able to edit and create fonts to support the entire family of Xerox printers. Now, let's discuss the menu options. The right-hand side of the screen is a vertical menu divided into four sections. They are the Input, Output, and Information options, the Character Mode options, the Operation Mode, and the Header and Information options. The first option under the Input, Output, and Information section is File. By selecting this option, a file dialog box appears in the center of the screen. With the file selector submenu, you can load, save, create, and delete fonts. Next, by selecting the options button, an options dialog box appears. Here you can view software release notes, available memory size, and font file sizes. The character mode option allows the editing of fonts the swapping and copying of character positions, kill, which is the deletion of characters, the merging of different fonts together, undoing of characters, and prior to printing, the selecting of the sample option. The sample option provides a sample pad so that you can see how the characters will learn arrangements. Under the operation mode and header and transformation, are options that allow changing the appearance of font characters. For example, resize, rotate, slant, underline, bold, reverse, and halftone. Now let's edit a font using several of these elements. Load and select the orientation of a font, then select a character to slant underline, and mirror, perform some bitmap editing, and finally merge two characters and two fonts together. The first step is to load a font. Move to the vertical menu and select the File option. This causes a file dialog box to appear on the screen. Choosing the Load Font option in this causes the Item Selector dialog box to appear. This box lists the current font file stored on the disk. Now scroll through this list and select a font. Click the left mouse button on OK and the font character set appears on screen. Let's check the different orientations that can be selected for fonts. Move to the menu and select the font and header options. The font header submenu appears in the middle of the screen. The font orientation options are portrait, landscape, inverse portrait, or inverse landscape. Select landscape and click accept. 
Let's slant the character M. So now let's move to the menu and select the character and slant options. Now the submenu appears. From this submenu, select the character Direction and Degree of Shift. Let's select Forward and 24 degrees slant and Accept. Both will be applied to the character M. Now we'll underline the character N. First, select the character and underline options, and the submenu appears. From the submenu, your choices for underlining are above or below the baseline of the character. You can do this one character at a time or for the entire font. Another option is the mirror. Let's use the letter R for this feature. Select the mirror option and the submenu allows you to flip the character top to bottom or right to left. Let's select the horizontal option. There's a special feature for bitmap editing. Move to the vertical menu and select the edit option. The bitmap edit window opens on the screen. Now select the character and it appears at the top of the screen and in the edit window. Using the different options in the edit window, you can magnify the character, turn a grid on or off, or clean up the character by adding or erasing dots. With the edit window still open, let's merge two characters from the same font. Move to the right and select the H as one new character. For a second character, select an I and the Blend option in the Edit window. Click the Accept button. Now merge the I with the H at the top of the screen. This is especially used for creating logos. Finally, let's merge characters from two different font sets. Merging fonts can be very useful. For example, you may want a special symbol available in one font that is not available in another. We need to select one font, then another, so that the two font character sets appear side by side on the screen. Here you see Press Roman on the right and Universe on the left. Now let's select the zero from the Universe font and click it into an open gray area on the Press Roman side. As you see, you can move as many characters as you need. Finally, let's save this newly merged character set. By selecting the Files options, the Files dialog box appears, and you can save font and type in a new font name. This completes the editing of the font. After watching this program, you should be able to use Elixir font to create a new font or modify an existing one. For more information, be sure to look at the other tools available in this package pertaining to Elixir font, especially the Fast Start tools, the Elixir directory structure, which will show you the font subdirectories, Elixir common questions and answers, the Elixir applications primer, and the Elixir font user guide. This concludes the Elixir font program. The capabilities and demonstrations of other Elixir products are described in separate video programs.